Um, okay. Let's let's get going on our operators. Text reference operator equals. Now this is going to be very similar to our copy constructor, but they are slightly different because um, this is when the copy constructor is called, but something like well, if we did it like this, then the equals operator would be called, or the assignment operator. So they're going to do very similar things, but um, slightly different. Uh, and like I was saying, this one will actually have a um, return value. And what that's going to be is dereference of the this pointer. Now why are we doing that? We're doing that so that if we have text objects like um, let's have name equal Duncan and then if we also have like a b or whatever you know whatever they might be we should be able to go a equals b equals name so what's gonna happen here is b equals name should happen and then we're gonna return b and then a will um, be so B will then be assigned to A. So by returning the dereference of the this pointer as a reference, it allows us to do this chaining of uh, operators like that. Not necessary, but it's kind of nice to have. Okay. Uh, let's do the plus operator. Again, we're going to be using this for uh, concatenations or appending, whatever you prefer to call it. Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to make a, a new character pointer and call this new str. I'll set equal to the new, or sorry, new character array of length, length of the current array, plus, um, well, let's see, let's actually do this. We'll use the str len, because, well, well, <laughs> we'll just do it this way because I prefer it. Okay, like that, and then plus one because we will need the null character as well. Um, we could also do it like length plus t dot length, but then you got to remember that both of these variables have an extra uh, for their null character, so we would end up having a minus one. Um, and if I was reading through this code, it's kind of unclear to me why we're minusing one just at a glance. So I prefer to do it. Uh, to call them or finding the lengths with the str len because that will leave out the null character in its calculation and then we'll just add add one for for our null character that we'd like to have for the new um, array so then all we have to do is let's make a return obj and have that be new str oh well before we do that we need to uh, str copy into new um, the current objects array so that'll copy the characters from the current objects uh, array of characters into uh, the new array of characters and then we want to add tack onto that the characters in uh, in basically T's array but instead of using str copy because if we did that it would end up erasing everything that was already in new str We'll use str cat, which is short for str concatenate, um, which will just append what we're. It'll append the second argument to the first argument, is what's going to happen, which is what we'd like to do. So there we go. And then um, we'll make our return object uh, from the new str array. And then I'll delete new str because when we make this return object, we are going to copy in. Uh, this array and make a new allocation so that's not going to get deleted so we do need to manually delete this array um, and then we're just going to return a return object okay that should do it for appending let's do that equals equals operator oh I think I forgot yeah. there we go operator there we go. Okay, so um, 
basically we want to return true if uh, the two strings are equal or their characters are the same it should be specific and uh, false if they're not um, now uh, let's see how do I want to do this uh, I'll just call it R uh, in the C string library there's an str CMP for str compare uh, and what that's going to do is it'll take two arguments, as you might expect, and uh, it's going to return a zero if they're equal and a non-zero if uh, if they're not equal. So let's see. Probably the easiest way to do this actually is to not use a variable and just return strcmp equals equals zero. So if the return value of this is zero, then we'll return true, and if it's not zero, then we'll return false which is exactly what we what we're going for. So that's all the operators. Let's do get input. Now get input is going to be a little bit tricky um, because we can't use the stream extraction operator because we don't know how many uh, characters are going to be coming out of that. So what we have to do instead is extract one character at a time and keep kind of appending that to our array. So I'm going to make an infinite loop that will break, and I'll make a character, just a temporary character C, and I'll set that equal to, oh wait, I should call this I in, or input, whatever, in dot get. Now I haven't talked about this get uh, method, but what it is, is, um, so C in is a instance of the ice, I'm not sure if I mentioned that, C in is an instance of this I stream class, which is another class to find in the IL stream library. But anyway, so when we call when we type dunk in and then enter in our input, you know, when we would usually use cn, what happens is those characters are entered into a buffer, and then we, or a stream buffer, so then when we use the extraction operator, it gets those characters out of that buffer. So what cn.get does is that gets one character at a time from the buffer. So our first call to cn.get will be a d, and then a u, and then an n, and that'll keep going and then eventually it'll be a new line because we pushed enter. So what I'm going to do is if C equals um, new line uh, like that, so basically until the, uh, the the user pushes return, well if, if it is a new line then we'll break out of this infinite loop. Um, but if it's not or else then what we're going to do is we're going to increase length by 1. Um, well actually, we do have to be a little bit tricky about this because we have to go if length uh, equals 0, meaning we have totally default object here, then we're going to want length to be 2 because we need room for the null character. If not, then we've already made room for the null character, uh, so we should be okay, I think. I might test that out see if that's right. But what we have to do is we make a new str. That'll be a new character array of length length. I'll str copy um, into the new str, the old str. Uh, and then I'll set the last character of str or length minus one to be the null character like we did before. And then what I'll do is I'll delete str and then have str point to new str. Uh, and then it'll all start all over again. So we'll basically make a new dynamic allocation of one greater length for the new character, copy in the old characters. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot to I forgot to tack on the, new, the character that we got from input. So that's how we want to be doing that. And then we want to go like that for the no character. So don't forget Length minus 2 will be the second to last character, uh, so the last character before the null character, and that'll be the character that we get from cn.get. So that's what we'll be wanting to do in there. So we do a new allocation, copy in the old characters, tack on the new character and the null character, uh, delete the old array, and then have the pointer point to the new, uh, the new array. So that should work all right, I think. Um, now we just have to do that friend function. 
Now this is returning an O stream reference operator stream extraction or stream insertion, I mean. O stream reference out and uh, constant text reference uh, T. All I'm going to be doing here is outputting t.str. Okay, pretty simple. And then we'll return out. Um, all right, I think that should finish out our class. So now let's go into main and kind of try out our new toy here.